Hello, my name is Cicidico Porto, and welcome to this short tutorial. And I'm going to be showing you a feature on the model tab. So, if you ever see a model and it's kind of offset, so uh, let, let's just go to this, right? So let's say you have a model, right? And so if I, I so if we group this as a model, and I group this like that, right? So, what if we have the model like this? We edit that, right? So it kind of moves like this, but you don't want it to do that. So the reason why your model is slanted like this or it's at a certain angle is because of the pivot or that pivot point. So whenever you're making a model or a part, everything has a, has a center that the dimensions it moves through. So if I insert a new part, uh, as you can see, there's a singularity in the middle of the X, Y, and Z coordinates of these arrows. So if I go to edit pivot, so what this does is it says, edit the point around which the selected object rotates and translates. So this is the direct center of where everything will rotate. So everything in a part, because it's the center of the entire part, everything will rotate around this blue little dot point in the middle. Uh, and it doesn't matter uh, what angle it is, everything will be rotated in that middle right there, right? But we can move this. So if we do that, it doesn't matter that it's inside the part, everything will rotate around the singularity right here so hold on yeah so everything will rotate like this and by the way if you're uh, making like if you want to make something look special like this this is a good building technique uh, so everything just kind of is like in this motion right here and it doesn't because you wouldn't be able to do this but uh, it's, a, it's a little bit offset, but I'm getting a little off track right there. Um, so, yeah. So when you have a model, right? If we go back to this edit pivot, you can see these little dots right here. These are little points. These little pink dots on here are the little points that you can actually uh, move the thing to. So if we put it to this uh, right corner right here, uh, what that will do, everything will rotate uh, around the corner right here. So when you're actually making a model for anything, so let's just insert a new part right here. So now we have two parts. So when you have parts themselves, they both individually have their center of rotation. But when you create a model, when you group them, the center is now in the middle. So it doesn't matter how many parts you have. There's everything has three dimensions and whatever is at the middle of those x y and three the three of the of everything that everything at the center of the mass by default it'll be in the middle right here so you can move this however you want and this could apply for a much more complex model but um it, it's very useful for a lot of things and uh, i just wanted to point that out um, so we can move it out there and now everything orbits like that. It's a pretty cool little feature I noticed. So that's about it for my tutorial. I haven't done much of a tutorial in a while on Roblox. And, uh, I just wanted to show you guys something that I thought would be useful. So if you guys like the video, give it a like. If you dislike, dislike it. My name's is Portal. And have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching.